Meet Diane. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our free six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Diane. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, darling. How are you doing? Hi. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good the last few days. Really excited to do this challenge. Really nervous to do it, but really excited. Right, don't be nervous. As you know, uh, I share my own personal story on my Slim Brother. It's just like me and you having a little chat, so you don't need to be nervous. Um, so, how was your Easter, first of all? How was my Easter? It was okay, because I don't eat chocolate anymore. I right. haven't eaten chocolate for two years. Um, I don't drink. Um, I think I had a takeaway, but that was about it. Great. Oh, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me, chocolate anymore. How about a hot cross bun on Friday? Did you enjoy a treat then? I don't. I don't like hot cross buns. <laughs> oh, oh, great! Well done, Diane. That Easter was really easy for you then. <laughs> it is. It's Easter and Christmas and that used to be the worst things that yeah. I used to dread because, like, the chocolate and the sweets. But two years ago, I realised that you need to make some changes, and I give it up about two years ago. Well done. So, uh, over the next six weeks, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, I'm hoping to achieve, achieve my stone. Yeah. But also, bigger than my stone, I want, as you know, you've been following me for quite a while, my consistency um, track record is zero. Um, I like to change my plans quite often. That is to do with my mental health and things that's happening in my life, but... I would like the biggest achievement would be the stone. The second achievement would be that I actually followed the plan for six weeks. Now, don't be too hard on yourself because it's not just you. Everybody is chopping and changing. You know, I used to work for Weight Watchers and I know members who used to go to Slimming World, come back to Weight Watchers, go to Slimming World, come back. So it isn't just you. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everybody is like this you know so it's not too normal but you are right just trying to stick to one thing for a month or two months is really yeah, yeah. good for you just I'm because actually gonna stick to it. my plan is to stick for the long term but we'll work on six weeks first so what is the plan what are you my plan is... to yeah yeah my plan is the plan that i've made up it's called the Freedom program yeah because i made my training to be a life coach yes you, you inspired me all the time so yeah i've been doing my training in the last eight months um it's more about confidence and believing in myself um i have helped a few people lose weight and stuff but it's just confidence and believing in myself so i thought no better than to to prove a plan works than if you live it yourself yes also um, as you know, um, I'm going through um, counselling and other stuff and plans like Weight Watchers, Slimming World, etc. It's too, too like straight and strict. Yeah. Um, it doesn't do good for my mental health. Um, so I've done my, I'm going to do my own plan. But in my own plan, you have three meals. And on each plate, you, you a majority put fruit or vegetables on them. Um, I'm going to keep my protein high, keep my fibre. I and I have two snacks. One snack is going to be like a fruit, yeah. And the second snack is going to be like a treat snack, yeah. You know, like so. Today I just had nuts and crisps. Great. Um, yesterday I had um pick a mix, yeah. A little like 25 40 grams of pick a mix. Um, make sure my water is between two and four four liters. I've been told that I've got to layer it up to four liters. Yeah. Because I've got sleep apnea, it's wow. dehydrating my body. I've got a sleep apnea machine and it's dehydrating my body. So no more than I'm putting the water in me through the night is completely draining me. Yeah. Um, so I've got to try and up it up. At the moment, I'm on about two litres. So within the six weeks, you will see me trying to up it up to four litres and live on the toilet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and but yeah, you... that's it. Is it, how are you, are you going to the toilet a lot at the moment on two litres? Um, no, you call a lot, but I'm on there more than I want to be. Yeah. But I will, I will be at four litres, but I, I do feel.
feel dehydrated and when I go to the gym and um, they've got a machine to uh, measure it like your fat and all that and I'm always low yeah. so I've been recommended that I need to up it up but it's very difficult in upping it to four litres so yeah, I'm going to make the two, two to three and on good days we'll go to two to three and then we'll see where we go from yeah. there I would also, suggest that sorry go, go on. On. I struggle as you know with my sleep um I am putting things into place to try and help me um because I suffer with night terrors and stuff yeah um so yeah I'm going to be putting things into place for that I would also suggest to try and drink more water in the mornings because your body like like your advisor has told you your body dehydrates through the night so just try and get as much water as you can in the morning and that should stop you from wanting to go to the toilet too much yeah i do try and slow it down when it gets to about six o'clock because i yeah. don't want to live in the toilet in the night Absolutely. but yeah i do drink i drink about four cups before i even get my breakfast because you i do feel really dehydrated because the, the machine just dehydrates me so yeah. yeah that's my water and also as you recommended last time i was going to do this um i haven't been looking into my fats healthy fats yeah um so i have been looking into that i've got avocado Great. only problem is i've never i've eaten avocado that's been prepared for me yeah. but i've never prepared it and i haven't got a clue how to do it right so you hold it in <laughs> your hand you get a right. knife and you turn the avocado and you cut it around right and then you twist it and then you should have two halves and the ball it should be in one half Get a right. spoon and get that ball and throw that ball away. Right. And then with the same spoon, go round the edges of the avocado and you the avocado should literally just slip out from the skin. Right. I know the skin. What colour should it be? Because I've seen them green, dark brown. Is it a particular colour that they're going to be? I think it's a bit like a banana. Sometimes they're really dark. Sometimes they're light. So it's... Right. There's no, what you should do though, is just give it a little squeeze. Right. And if it's really, really hard, it means it's too ripe. Right. It's not really so don't that go nice. Too, don't like a banana, don't go too yeah. ripe. Because the I, other How much is too much? Because I've never ate it and I'm gonna, how much can you eat it? Ooh, avocado, is that too much fat? No, or, have uh, a whole avocado. Right. That's fine. Okay. That's where you'll see on my new um, thing. I bought one. I'm going to try it. And I've just got some olive oil in, changed my oil to olive oil. Great. And I've got my nuts in and my seeds. Perfect. So I've got them all ready and chai seeds so I can get all my healthy fats in. Oh, that's amazing. I am got it all planned. I've got all my fruit in. I've, I've gone through all my freezers, cupboards and fridges and checked out majority of the processed food. I have right. got a daughter and a husband who likes chicken nuggets and stuff. Yeah. So I've had to keep them. But majority of it, it's pretty healthy. So, yeah, Very I'm good. quite positive about the next six weeks. And you are going to be tracking, but you're going to be tracking with your camera, aren't you? I am. It's on an app called 8. A-T-E. Yeah. Um, I, I will be posting from today my posts. And it tells you what time I eat and what I eat. And also when I do it, I've got to put where I am, how I feel, um, if yeah. I stress, am I eating emotionally, um, how it, did it fill me up? And I've got to answer all those questions when I'm doing the pictures. Perfect. So, so you'll see what I eat. Yeah. Do I need to send it to you weekly? I will be posting on the group the yeah, pictures just, I'm doing send you weekly. Just post them in the group every day. Right, right. That will be perfect. And then I can give you the feedback straight away. Right. Oh, it's exciting. Perfect. <laughs> right. Have you got any other questions? Um, let me even think. What do I do when I get stuck? <laughs> you message me. <laughs> get used to the messages and not that. <laughs> yeah, feel free to message me. Um, but also have a little bit of a backup plan. So right. you said you've got rid of all those, um, you know, all the processed snacks and stuff. But if you yeah. are physically feeling hungry, just think about yeah. it in your brain. If you need an extra snack, 
then why don't yeah. you go for a banana and some nuts or something like that yeah. so when you are feeling like you need something extra just try and go to those healthier things rather than you know going maybe to the shops and buying something or going through your daughter's things <laughs> yeah that yeah I, I was trying to get her to um not have any but she's like no that's what she likes and she's quite fussy on textures of food and yeah. I'm like oh, can we put those on the one side of the freezer so I don't have to look and when I cook I'm going to shut my eyes <laughs> yeah that's it no it does help you know just not having them in front of your eyes all the time is a big help it's yeah. proven to help so that's good what do you think about eating in what, what times of eating in the night have you got any um thing on that any sort of if anybody has got any sort of sleep problems the earlier that you eat the better to be honest right. but i know logistically sometimes it just doesn't work so it's a little bit of trial and error but i would just say generally the earlier you can the better right okay because i have i've started the last i'd say about a month or so i've been trying to cut off about seven or eight when i used to binge eat right through the night yeah. in bed um but it's been 23 days that i've given up binge eating in the night and i don't eat mm. in my bedroom anymore well done so this is a great habit to break it one it's not good to have crumbs in your bed and two yeah. i could eat two thousand calories easily yeah in the night so i could be amazing in the day and you do know that if you eat the calories in the bed nobody needs to know about those yes. um, <laughs> so yeah i've stopped all that but i just thinking about seven or eight i would shut it down downstairs and not eat yeah. so that I'm, I'm up early in the morning i can get ready to have my breakfast then that's perfect great well done Great. Right. That's it for me for now then. So we will meet again this time next week. Uh, and then, as yeah. I said, post your video, post your photos in the group uh, and then message me at any time. OK, Diane? Yeah. And you'll see a lot less of me, hopefully. <laughs> yes, we will, for sure. OK, Great. see you next week. Thank Bye. you, Diane. Bye.